Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm very sorry I've been MIA and for, I haven't uploaded in like five weeks. Um, thank you for two million. That's fucking awesome. Um, I, I haven't completely been a lazy fuck. I, I've been working on a documentary. Casey Neistat said a really interesting thing that struck me is um people he said in a podcast with Tim Ferriss he said something like and I'm paraphrasing but he said uh, people don't go to YouTube for important works of art they go to YouTube for relationships he said something like that and um that really struck me is like what what what, what does that mean <laughs> what what do you guys think about that i'm assuming it means people watch YouTubers because they feel connected to them and like they I don't know I'm gonna probably keep doing pranks <laughs> I I have a hate slash love relationship with them I because I, I keep coming I, I have so many ideas that's never been the problem we have so many ideas to do and variations of ideas and you know, and I'm 20, I'm 26 in a few weeks. I'm not that old <laughs> yet. I feel like 20, I feel like I got at least one, probably the most one more year before it starts getting creepy. <laughs> Me like talking to girls on campus and stuff. Um, probably, I think I'm going to start vlogging because and I've always had a bad attitude towards it, and I feel bad about it because I don't have a bad attitude anymore about it. I, I'm convinced now. That it's, fine, and I've, I'm just an artsy little hipster bitch that needs to shut up, you know. <laughs> I I came across, another thing Casey said in, you know I'm I'm I've been I, I'm subscribed to the cult of Kate, Kate yeah the cult of Casey. He said another interesting thing. He's so badass, you know, he like runs a marathon every morning. But he said, uh, someone was like, stop vlogging, you're a filmmaker. Or, yeah, and he, and he, here, this is what he said. You're a filmmaker, stop vlogging. Not actually a question, but I am more than happy to address. I have premiered feature films at the Cannes Film Festival. I have premiered a feature at the Sundance Film Festival. I have written, directed, edited, and starred in my own HBO series. I have been awarded the Rockefeller Grant for filmmaking. I have stood on stages and received prestigious awards, and I'm a lifetime member of the Sundance Institute. And I can tell you that, that this, that creating a new movie every 24 hours and releasing that movie to an audience of hundreds of thousands of people is an evolution in filmmaking. See, our job as creators is to further define any medium. Our job is to create the new cliches, not adhere to those that, that were defined by generations past. Uh, and to suggest that this is anything but filmmaking is, is, to, is to highlight some preconceived falsehood around what the very definition of filmmaking is. So that's badass. He's a badass. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, just giving you guys an update. Another thing, I've been working on music a little bit. Lo uh, loft beats, little shitty beats here and there. You can check that out. Joe Costello's doing watches now. He's selling better times. That's badass. I think he sent me one in my P.O. box that I haven't... I haven't checked it out. I haven't gone and gotten it yet. I'll be wearing that though. Um, what was I gonna say? Big Doss came out with a rap album. Ernie actually did his alter ego, and it's badass. Um, yeah. Just wanted to update you guys. Appreciate everything. Thank you. I'll I'll talk to you later. <laughs>